Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Babs from Stitching with Black Cats and to be fair this isn't my first floss tube um, video. I had a channel before which is called Bordeaux Meshes, Stitching Girl in English and most people couldn't understand the name and somehow I can't access it anymore. Um, floss tube has blocked it for some reason, uh, YouTube I'm sorry, and I can't do anything there now so now I have made a new channel I'm going to try to edit this time um, I have been spending some time to get um, an intro picture and I hope it worked so um, I'm going to do the know your needlework attack the original cross stitch stack I'm gonna show you my whips um, I'm gonna show you my finishes but those will be mainly on picture because most of them hang at my parents house and others I have given away so I don't really have much um, cross stitch finishes here and I could bring one of my finishes here but it's huge and I don't want to go uh, on the stairs with it and break the glass. It was quite expensive to frame and it took me quite a long time to finish it. So um, maybe I will start with a know your needlework attack. Um, so. First question, I have to look here on my computer screen. Where do you live? Um, I live in Belgium, um, in a big town in the center of uh, Belgium, Ghent, actually. And I live there with my boyfriend and our pets. So, question two, what do you do for a living? I'm an assistant nurse in a nursing home. And at the moment with the coronavirus, there is a lot of work, but I won't go too deep into that. Do you have any children? No, no children. Do you have any pets? At the moment, I have three black cats. And a few weeks ago, we have to let our girl um, be slept in and let her go to the Rainbow Bridge. Um, so... I just have my three boys left now. My girl dear was um, my stitching companion. Um, and now she's together with her sister. I'm working on a remember piece for her sister. And I have chosen one for Tigre as well. So question five. What are your other hobbies besides stitching? Um, I needle that. So... Mostly I make jewelry with it, and it's a craft with a needle and a thread. You can look it up. I don't have any examples here with me now because I have given most of them away. So, what is your favorite movie? Um, I like Lord of the Rings, but I also like vampire movies, real vampire movies. No twinkling uh, vampires. So, I have quite some taste about it. What is your favorite TV show? Again, there, I love things like Grey's Anatomy, um, NCIS, Numbers. Um, I love The Witcher. It's quite an eclectic taste, but I am not so much for uh, rom-coms or how you call them. It's more action, bit of horror. Um, I also love things like Outlander, Victoria. Um, what more? Yeah, kind of do things. It's called a midwife, for example. There's a quiet taste in it. Um, what is your favorite book? I have a series of books I love a lot, and that's The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. I have read them quite a lot, and if I should advise you one book, it would be that. What's your favorite music? Um... EBM, metal, some pop music, mostly older, um, music from the 40s, that's about those things. What one word best describes you? Stubborn. <laughs> I'm very stubborn, so that's the word that describes me best. So, I'm going to show you my whips at the moment. Um, I'm mostly a monogamous stitcher. And I have been working on one of these whips for months now, but it's almost finished. 
So I'm gonna take it. This I'm gonna put off the ring for a second so you can see it. I'll put everything next to me. So this is gonna be simply um, crab apple by Irina Karmashova. It's in heaven and earth designs, and I have a bit over ten thousand stitches left. So I'm gonna close up. This piece I'm making in remembrance of Tush, one of our cats that passed away in 2015. And I started in 2017, but I wasn't ready to stitch on it. And at the moment, I've been working on for months and I really want to get it finished. So I hope to get it framed someday. So this is one of my whips. And I really, really hope to finish it. Um, since the end of December, I use Pattern Keeper. And really, it's a game changer. Before, I was always, I need to do it on paper with a highlighter. And I wouldn't want to change until I really tried it. And it's so much different. I don't know what I'm going to do with my paper kits. Because I can't add them. You will see I love... A lot of big projects so i'm going to show you the next one it's also i have an inner designs i haven't been working on for months since i work on the and this one got it back is time's up by lisa parker i'm about one third in so i love it i don't know when i will work on this one because I have a new one I want to start, but first I need to finish crap up, of course. So I'm going to show you some close-ups. The eyes, the clock, and the ghost. So, I really love this one. It has a bit of the attitude like one of my black cats. But this one isn't totally black. So, inside. Then I have another whip, also I haven't touched it in a while, and this one is one part of a series, and this is a winter witch with some cats. You will see cats come back a lot in my chosen things, so. Um, this one is a real Korean ink kit, um, I bought it on Etsy, and it comes with all the things like the beads, um, Beads, threads, um, a needle, fabric. They even search your fabric for you. So it's so much, it's so much fun. I'm gonna show you what it will look like. Sorry, I hope there's not too much glare. So this is what it will be. Then I have another way. Stay still, sorry. And I'm really starting to hate it. I haven't worked on it for over a year. It should be a piece one for my boyfriend, fiance, and one for me. And this one would say Father of Kittens. It's um, Game of Thrones inspired. And even though it's just two colors, I'm kind of bored with it. Um, the red one is a weak dice work. It should have. Um, Variegation, sorry, but you don't see variegation at all. I could just have used um, a normal cheap DMC instead of spending money on this. So the other part I haven't even started, and that is Mother of Cats. So my other whip. This is one I take in my car, and this is a Madame Chantilly. And there are five in this series. This is spring. I have finished autumn, but I don't think I have it with me. And each one has three little snow globes. There's autumn, spring, summer, winter, and Christmas. So it's a really lovely quick stitch. And um, yeah, I'm not good at 
back stitching you see that so maybe I will pull this out and do it again and I want to show you the three other kits that go with the winter witch and this is the spring witch so I'm gonna bring it closer they are all from the same web shop I'm gonna see if I can find the website Mm. So that's it. And then we have the autumn witch, which is lovely as well. I see you can get you get everything with it. You get the threads which are assorted, the fabric, the beads, everything. I don't know when I will continue with those. But, yeah. And I think this one is a summer. No, the, the first one was summer. This is a springtime. Sorry, I don't speak Russian or U Ukrainian. So, again here. All the colors are sorted. Threads in there. So it's really lovely. <clears throat> and then I have one little finish here. And that's autumn from the series I'm working on. Um, I really hate to do French knots, so I made a bead, and here I added the beads as well. They have to look like a rain, so I added them, I added them like this. So, that's one of my finishes. So. Normally I don't have a lot of hole because I stitch very big projects, um, mostly heaven and earth designs, and I kit them up at once. Um, I don't have a master set of threads. <coughs> really sorry. I have hay fever, so it's a bit working up. And yeah, I order for each project. I'm not easily influenced, I have a specific style, but maybe I will put the original cross stitch tag with me and then I can tell you more about that. So, the original cross stitch tag by Annie Momma and revised by Stitching Me. So, how did you start or who introduced you to cross stitch? Um, my mom does crafts all her life. She um, does bobbin lace. Um, she does patchwork, um, knitting, and all kinds of stuff. And in 2008, we went to um, a craft fair and I wanted to do a craft as well. And there she bought me three little cups of coffee from Vervaco. One is finished, the other one is started, and the third one I have never finished. So, they are still in my cabinet. After that, I started with a bigger, pro bigger project, and then in the end, I started having another design, it's Joan Elliott's. Um, I don't have many finishes, because I don't always have the time to stitch, but yeah. Do you have a favorite team or designer? Cats! Cats, 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 cats. You will see that come back quite a lot. Um, I love cats. I have three of them. Um, so I love having a nerd designs. Um, Madame Chantilly. I love Joe and Elliot's fairies. I love those two. Um, I don't have the biggest budget, so I don't have a lot of craft stuff here. But yeah, I love so many floss tube videos with um, all those designers, but or they really don't appeal to me, or they're just hard to get here um, or shipping costs, or you know, we don't have a lot of um, stitching stores here, and most of them are in my style. So I'm not in love with Vervaco, Lenarte, or... Sorry, I don't want to offend anyone. Uh, pumpkin stitchery, those are too cute for me. Three, what floss brand do you use? Um, 
I use DMC. I tried CXC or whatever it's called, but I, I don't like the feel of it. It doesn't stitch up nice. It doesn't look as good as DMC. So I stick with DMC. What is your fabric of choice? Even with. I started on Ada, but I gave up very soon. Um, for my heads, I use a 25 count Zweigart even weave. Um, not white cream, but some sort of sand color. And I love how um, that works out. Do you have a needle threader or a floss licker? I'm a floss licker. And let me tell you, I'm even worse. I'm a floss nutter. <laughs> Every time I start a thread, just make a little knot and I start it like that. I don't care how the bags look like. It's the front that counts and the front if the front is good enough, then I'm happy. Um what kind of stitching frame do you use? Um I've shown it an ordinary hoop. Just a hoop. I have tried Q snaps, not my thing. I don't have the space to put a frame. And I love the fact that I just can take my hoop, my boxes, and go sit somewhere else. So, that's my preferred choice. How many projects have you finished? Let me think. One hat. Five or six uh, Joanne Elliots. Um, a few Vervacos from the beginning time. And a few others I forgot that I have given away. So, I don't have many projects finished. I so, how many completed works do you have currently displayed in your home? Two. I have my Heaven and Earth Design switching hour, which I'll show you in a bit later. And I have a Joe and Elliot uh, Autumn Fairy. So, those are the two I have here. The rest is displayed at my parents' house or my ex in laws or with friends. Do you do more stitching for gifts of key them for? Or keep them for yourself. Oh, my words. Um, mostly I have stitched it for gifts. But there are some at my parents' house that will come back eventually. She um, took them and hung them on her wall. Because we didn't have space. And they are there now. What is your favorite project or finish you are most proud of? Witching Hour by Heaven and Earth Designs. I worked on it for four years and two months. It's my biggest project till now, and I really, really love it. What has been your least favorite or worst experience while stitching? I have two, and both are with Heaven and Earth Designs. The first Heaven and Earth Designs I started um, was about when I started stitching three months. And I went to a fair in the Netherlands. It was a long trip with the train, around six to seven hours with the train one way. And when I got there, there was not a lot of bordure, fabric, crafting thing. It was more paper craft and stuff. And I had my pattern with me. It was Queen of Hearts. And a Dutch woman sold me some fabric there. And while I was stitching, the threads would end, they would magically disappear. And I found out that the fabric was just good enough for small pieces, small cards, and not for a big piece. So I had to throw that away. And the second one was when I was stitching um, Amy Brown's Bottom of the Garden. It's also a Heaven and Earth Designs. And I was moving, I had put everything in a box, put the box away, and then when I took it back after six to seven months, I noticed a cat had sprayed on it. The stench was horrible. The fabric was horribly stained. So I had to throw it away. I tried um, all kinds of things, baking salt, soap dish, Everything you can think of, but I couldn't get rid of the stench and the dirt, so I had to throw it away. Maybe one day I'll make it again. Maybe. Because I really hated the grinding. It has a lovely look. 
put a stitch with it. Oh no. What do you love and what do you hate about cross stitch? I love that I have a blank canvas and with each stitch you see something grow. I love that the most. What I hate is patterns that aren't very good to explain. Lines going over, um, not very good shown if you have to use a half stitch or a bead or whatever. Um, and last but not least, French knots. Oh my god, French knots. Have you introduced anyone else to cross stitch? I can say my mum, because she started cross stitching after I did. But for the rest, I don't think I have ever influenced anyone to cross stitch. What was your first project and did you finish? If not, what was your first finish? I told it in the first question, a little of a coffee cup, and I still haven't finished it. So, how do you store your cross stitch floss? Um, each project has his own bobbin box. I'll take one. So this is one of the three boxes for my next project. And this is how I store them. I can open the box. I write the symbol of the project on it. And then I write a number on it. I don't have a very good handwriting, so it's not good to see. But this is how I store them. So, um, that's about it. I want to show you my new project, but um, I only have it on Pattern Keeper. So I will try to insert some pictures here. But I can say to you, it's a Heaven and Earth Designs again. And it's the first time I'm going to do a max color. So I've shown you one box. This one is not very big. This is box number two for the project. And this is box number three. The project I'm going to start is Fox Sleeping by Gina Matarosso, also from Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's so cute. So I will see if I can put some pictures in here from my finishes and new starts. See you in a bit. Hello, this is part two. Um, I managed to get pictures in the end, but not in a movie. So I still have to learn that, but I hope you don't mind. Um, so the pictures I have shown you now were um, mostly finishes. Um, not all of them are framed, most of them are given away. Um, you don't see all my finishes because some are given away and I have never taken a picture of them and because of reasons I will never see them again. Um, as you can see I love hats but also Joanne Elliott's. Um, there are so many things that I love to stitch but I'm sad that I don't have pictures of everything. Um, so the last picture also, the one with the fox and the purple, that is the one I'm going to make after uh, crab apple is finished, sorry. 
my nose is itching, stupid hay fever. And um, it's a very big one. It's over 300,000 stitches. It's max color, 239 colors to be exact. And it will take me some time. How I want to go with my floss tube. I'm planning on making a video every month. Um, mainly because I'm mostly a monogamous stitcher. So I don't have any rotations or whatever. I just stitch what I like. And sometimes I'd be months on the same. Sometimes I change every week. It really depends on how I feel. Now I'm mainly stitching on crap apple because I really, really want to have finished. So I also don't have much haul. Like I said before, I buy for each project. And since those are very big, I tend to buy once or twice a year. Um, for the rest, I hope you like this video. If not, stay the same. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, have fun, and keep stitching.